Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and out-of-the-park baseball fans. <coughs> it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with Game 7 of the 1994 World Series in out-of-the-park baseball where my Chicago White Sox have fought their way all the way through the playoffs. We beat Oakland. I think we beat the Yankees. And here we are in the World Series against the Astros, just like in real life in 2005. And um, we are um, going to in, into Game 7. Now, right here it says that our starter is going to be Tommy Gilbert. But I'm going to take a look at that because I want to see if that's really necessary. Is it really necessary? <laughs> so let me uh, let me see. We got Tommy Gilbert listed here. Um, McDowell might have pitched the last time. Let me see if I can move Fernandez up. And now possibly it'll be Fernandez. Um, that will start for us. So I'm going to finish the day. I'm going to review the rotation. Oh, wait a minute. All right. So let's go. I guess that was because I didn't finish the day. So anyway, hopefully now we have uh, this all set to go. And we are going to have uh, Alex Fernandez going up against Shane Reynolds. Um, yeah, it looks like Fernandez is pitching for us. Our lineup is Joey Cora at second, Ozzy Guillen at short, Frank Thomas the Big Hurt at first, Ventura at third base, Darren Jackson in right, Rock Reigns in left, Carco Weiss at catcher, and uh, Morgan in center. And we have... Um, uh, the uh, Astros will have Finley, Gonzalez, Bagwell, Biggio, Caminiti, Eusebio, Bass, Aubin, and uh, Shane Reynolds. So we're going to start the game. Now it's possible, it's looking like maybe Fernandez um, uh, is, is, is gassed right now coming in gassed so we will we'll deal with that if we have to it's all hands on deck because this is game seven so not really worried about that and we're gonna swing away here we're up first the game is in Houston and Shane Reynolds deals and uh, there's a walk so it's a good start for us and uh, Ozzie Guillen is up. And Ozzie Guillen is going to hit in. No, he didn't hit into a double play. Thank God. Ozzie Guillen is aboard with one down. And Frank, the big hurt, Thomas is up. And he's going to hit into a double play. So he will. And now we're going to see just what we can get out of uh, Fernandez. He goes out there. And that was, yeah, maybe we can't get anything out of him. I better get somebody up in the bullpen right now. Maybe even Tommy Gilbert, who was supposed to have started this game. Um, no, Tommy Gilbert is yellow, so he's not even really ready. We'll get uh, um, Al Fifield up in the uh, bullpen. So we're going to have somebody getting ready. And he walks the next guy. So now there's two on with no outs. Yeah, he was gassed. I shouldn't have started him. And that's going to be a hit in the corner and maybe a run. No, it's bases loaded. And that's going to be a pop out. So he's going to get one out. And uh, Ken Caminiti is the batter. And that's going to be a base hit. 
and that'll put him up to nothing. And I'm going to go get five. Hopefully he's ready now. It is two nothing. Let's go see. He is ready. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna bring Fifield in. Probably should not have done that. I didn't realize that he was already gassed though. And there's a strikeout. So it's two nothing, and that should be the third out, and it is. So they got two runs. Hopefully we can recover from that. This is game seven, so you know. There is no tomorrow. Ventura Highway. Robin Ventura is batting. And he strikes out. And that brings up Darren Jackson. And Darren Jackson's going to rip a base hit. So we got a base runner. Well, we had a base runner in the first, but it was on a walk and nothing happened. But here's Rock Reigns. Rock range is going to fly out. That should be two down. And uh, Carco Vice. Power hitting catcher. Let's see if he can jack one here. No, he can't. <coughs> so, <coughs> we go back to the field with Al Fifield. And that's going to be a deep fly to center. One away for Houston brings up Shane Reynolds the pitcher so he should get an out here although that was a nice that was a nice connection there with Shane Reynolds but it is an out and um, Steve Finley's up and that is gonna be an out yes good all right two nothing after two top of the third inning we got Chris Morgan our center fielder is up and he strikes out. That brings up Fifield. Fifield is going to be out. That's two down quickly. And Joey, Qu I completely mismanaged this game. Game seven, and I just completely botched it. So anyway, we got to walk. A man is aboard with two down and Gian up. And that is going to be an out. And we're out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Fifield pitching to the Houston lineup. And that's going to be a base hit over the second baseman's head. And there's going to be another base hit. So they got two runners on. No outs. And uh, Craig Biggio up. And that's another base hit. So Fifield all of a sudden getting his butt handed to him. I guess I better get somebody else up. I mean, you know, this is the last game of the year. So we'll get Kirk McCaskill up in the pen. Didn't look like he was tired, though. So there's an out. One out, we're down 3 nothing. Nah. Let's see if he can keep the run from scoring. And he can. Did he? Yes. Nice. We nailed the guy at the plate. Great throw. So it's only 3 nothing. Thomas is up. And Thomas will be out. Robin Ventura is up. We got a good lineup. I mean, we should be able to get three runs, I would think, but that's two down quickly, though, here in the uh, fourth. And Darren Jackson up. And he strikes out. So Shane Reynolds is on top of his game here with uh, Fifield going back out to the mound. And that's going to be an out. Next guy grounds out. Let me see if McCaskill's not tired yet. Or tiring. Yeah, we'll bring in McCaskill now. There's two down quickly. And we're in the fourth, and we've got some fresh arms out there, and this is the last game of the year, no matter what. So there's a strikeout. McCaskill's K's the last guy of the inning. 
We go to the top of the fifth. We're down three nothing. Tim Rock Reigns up, and Rock Reigns is gonna fly out. I mean, I guess looking if, if we end up looking back and seeing that Shane Reynolds just pitched out of his mind, then it really doesn't matter. But because right now that's what he's doing, and Chris Morgan, our center fielder, is up, and that's gonna be an out. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. And McCaskill gets the guy out. Now McCaskill's going to be the first batter next inning. So I probably want to get somebody warming up soon. That's going to be a deep fly, and there's the second out. So I'm going to get somebody warming up again uh, because we'll, we'll warm up Danny Pfeiffer because we are going to have to... Oh, wait a minute. I can't pinch hit. Again. Yeah, I hate this. This bottom thing in the screen comes up, and I can't pinch hit. All right. Well, we're, then we're not going to do that. So, and McCaskill walks the guy. We got two on with two down. And he walks another guy, so he's walked the bases loaded. And he struck out the last guy. So he gets out of the inning. McCaskill up. And he's going to be out. And uh, Joey Corr is up. Joey Corr with a base hit. <coughs> Get something going here. Ozzie Gian. What was that? I guess it was a balk. So Shane Reynolds box um, core to second, and Gian continues his at bat, and that's a base hit, and that's going to get us a run. So it's three to one. And Frank Thomas is up. The big hurt. He needs to put on a hurting, but he walks. That's great. I mean, you know, he's on base. Got two on, one out. Ventura up. And he struck out Ventura. Ventura is not having a good day. Darren Jackson's up. And they walk Darren Jackson to load the bases. With two down. And Tim Rock reigns. Is up at the plate and he's out. All right. Well, we got one run back. It's three to one. I'm going to put some. I'm going. I am going to get somebody else up and I'm going to get somebody up in the bullpen now. Pfeiffer will get him back up, just in case McCaskill starts to wear down. And is he out? Yes. One down and. Uh, Austin Aubin is up and that yeah Cargovice pounces on it and throws him out and we have Taubensy Eddie Taubensy and he strikes out we're going to the top of the seventh it's three to one game seven of the World Series Cargovice the catcher is up and he's gonna fly out one down. Getting late. Chris Morgan is up. And Chris Morgan is going to fly out to center. And uh, that brings up McCaskill. And McCaskill is going to be out. And let me see if our Reliever is ready. Pfeiffer is ready. And McCaskill is wearing down. <clears throat> so 
So Pfeiffer is in. Pfeiffer's out on the mound. We're clinging to a. We're just down by two runs. And uh, Luis Gonzalez up. And that's going to be a bunt. And it's going to be a beauty, too. But did they get him? Oh, we did. All right. Two down. And uh, Jeff Bagwell, the batter. And Jeff Bagwell is going to fly out to right. So this is where it, it all comes. Does it all come down? No. No. It's top of the eighth. So we still got two innings. Core is up. Top of the lineup. And Cora flew out. And yeah, Tom Edens is on to pitch for Houston. And I'm just happy to see Shane Reynolds out of there. And that's a fly out, two down. <coughs> Frank Thomas up, the big hurt. Is that out? No, it's a fly out. All right. Well, we're going to have to get two in the ninth at least. But right now we want to get through the ninth, the top of the ninth, so that we only need two to tie and three to win, or three to go ahead. Pounce is on it, and there's two down quickly here. And, um, and Harsedanio is the batter. And Anda Harsedanio is going to fly out. Great play by the center fielder. Now we need two runs. Ventura is up and they've got um, another guy out on the mound. Ventura, did he get a hit? Was that a hit? No, it's an out. Yeah, Brian Williams is on to pitch for Houston. That's a strikeout, and that brings up Tim Rock Reigns. And that's it. Houston wins the World Series. I mean, I mismanaged the game for sure, but with the way with the pitching that the uh, Astros had, I don't think we were going to do much anyway. So. Astros capture the World Series. So I'll let you guys read that. game let's see what the uh, we're finishing up let's see what if if anything what the owner says about this now remember this was uh, I started this <coughs> this career season or this career in in 1994 Season over, good score, data first achievement October 30th, first time season score of 721. Owner goal complete, data first achievement, two times achieved, first time owner goal complete, team record. So I'm sure he was uh, happy with me. The season is over, your season score this year is 721. Bob, this is a great score, congratulations. Um... Let's see. You have just been informed from the team owner, David Gerhardt, that latest surveys among fans have shown their loyalty to the White Sox has increased to a very good rating. That's excellent news. Keep up the good work. Uh, we've got some players retiring. Rich Gossage, I guess.
and Dan Pask was retiring, and he was in the minors. So uh, that's where we are, guys. Um, got my uh, first, the first season that I played of this career in Out of the Park, this 1994 career season thing. And we went to the World Series and lost to Houston. So we will see. That's, uh, let me see if there's a. Let's see what I got for available jobs. Really, just one major league team? I think that's going to change later. But anyway, <clears throat> um, that that's going to be it for me for right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing out.